Hallelujah everyone, welcome back to our show King's Diary. My name is Imole Midi and we'll be on the show with you. Oh, oh thank you Dawson. So you know when we were growing up, you know they used to tell us that our marriage is the union between man and woman. That you know now I think uh, something is wrong with that union. Mm. Because what we used to, what we are used to then was marriage is a coming together yes, the man, the man and, and the woman, woman to, to become, become one. one. But yes. right now we are having something else. We have a man. And women, women, yeah, that's true. Women, some women cases. yes, and a man, yeah, so in some I, cases, that's, that's true. That's, that's, that reminded me of one of my aunts then. Uh, before she got uh, married to um, her husband, then she, the way she dresses, you'll be like, wow, slay queen. <laughs> but right now, after the uh, the marriage stuff, I really don't know what happened. She, wow. she turned something else. Okay, no. okay so she, she started dressing down. More like her husband conditioned her. Probably so, okay. it was her husband, or maybe she was like, you know, there are some uh, women that will be like, I'm not married now. I shouldn't be dressed okay. like this. I shouldn't be doing that. Oh, oh. Which I believe is actually um, a none of anyone's business. Yeah, of you course. have to do, most times you need to do what your husband wants, but at the same time, you have to look good for your husband. Oh, because I feel if you're, if you wear earrings and your husband sees you and likes you and gets married to you there's nothing stopping you from wearing that same hair while some married some will even stop it after getting married to so <laughs> or maybe do they tell them whenever they're having their marriage counseling that okay when, when you, you get are, married yeah, you don't, don't do wear hair again do don't i'm do. not sure i'm not sure they do that actually but okay. not to worry don't let us uh, disturb ourselves too much okay. regarding this uh, marriage, marriage issue. let's go on the short break to bring in a man of wisdom to share more light uh, regarding this our uh, marriage issue Thanks for staying with us. So on the show today, um, we'll be talking about marriage in Celestial Church of Christ as a fold. And we'll have with us a wonderful man of God, our daddy, a vessel unto honor, venerable superior evangelist Israel Abayo Milne. He is the shepherd in charge, CCC King of Kings Cathedral. You're welcome, sir, Miss Daddy. Thank you very much. Thank you for having <laughs> me on your program today. You're welcome, sir. We are glad to have you now, Miss, once again, sir. Um, Daddy, we've been having some challenges uh, regarding marriage in Celestial Church of Christ, Daddy. So, uh, that is the reason we want you to share more light regarding the importance of marriage or relationship counseling in our grateful Celestial Church of Christ. Uh, see, uh, marriage is not uh, restricted to Celestial Church um, alone. alone. It's an universal instruction from, uh, from God. And that's why we see from instruction in the Garden of Eden, it was not just Adam. That was there. It got, it got to a time that the Lord, you know, created Eve to be a helpmate for him. So we must understand that it is not just Celestial Church of Christ. It is a universal language that everyone has to speak. And it's something we all have to go uh, go through. And because we are Celestial and does not, um, you know, uh, absorb from the responsibility or the pattern or the way of, you know, that universal language. is the same language uh, to the Anglican. It's the same language to uh, any denominations um, at all. So it, it, it's, it's not different. It's just for us as individuals to understand that I'm going into an institution, you know, uh, orchestrated, instructed and started, you know, uh, by God. And we must go into that. We you know, with a belief that this thing that I'm going into is an instruction from God. And if it's an instruction from God, there's nothing that should pull us away from it. Okay, okay. okay sir. Thank you for that. Uh, also, that this uh, relationship of a team uh, like uh, before marriage, uh, do you really think our uh, Celestial Church of Christ, like what uh, steps are we taking regarding this uh, relationship counseling in uh, Celestial Church yes. of Christ? Yes. Okay, so it, it is an individual thing for every church. You know, each church uh, you know, uh, can have a, um, a section of the church that deals with relationship, that okay. deals with uh, marriage uh, counseling. See, there are uh, uh, pre-marriage, uh, there are five steps. Okay. And then, you know, post-marriage, there are four steps. And wow. those nine steps are universal in the whole world. You know, before you get married, you, you, you know, there's one thing we call the talking stage. Okay, you're that's talking to that person, <laughs> you know, you're talking to that person, then after a while, yeah. you're getting to know that when, when, you know, when you, you, when you're talking to that person, you then understand that, can I be friend friends with, with this, this person, person or not? Yeah. Because if they don't speak in the same way, maybe they're so vulgar, they're so loud, they say, you know, let me just put this person a bit. That's number one. Then number two goes to, because you know, say, okay, I think we are flowing on the same frequency. It now becomes uh, the friendship stage. Friendship. Okay. Now, once you get into that, you know, uh, you know uh, friendship stage, you're not, you know, in friends, you understand some of the things that you guys like. You then move to the third stage, which is the courtship. 
Okay. Now, from that courtship stage, the case of okay, I think we are we've moved from that. We've abandoned the friendship okay. stage. We, we don't know that you know. We don't have advanced. We know that there's something in common that yes. we you know we have. When you after that courtship stage, you know, so you know what? We need to take this thing up. Now, before you get married, you, got, you have to get engaged. That is the fourth, fourth uh, stage, stage um, yeah. of it. Then from then, it is now marriage. the, uh, the marriage. Now, let's, uh, let's ask, ask ourselves the, that relative question. Do some of us or do all of us, do we go through that? Yeah. And then if you don't go through all those, you know, all those uh, stages. stages, that's bound to be problems. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Because the person that you are dealing with maybe is um, uh, from the east or from the north, or you are from the south, or the, you, know, you are from the north. Uh, you know, our uh, ethnic background are different. The way we do things are different. Are different yes. You know, uh, the, the way we, and then when you go international, when you go into the European uh, way, it's different. Yes. You know, in, in Nigeria, we believe that, you know, uh, I don't know if it still happens now, we believe that when our wives take up in the morning, they have to kneel you down, down. And, and, and do this and do this and, and do that. Now, obviously, when you then go into off the shores of Nigeria or Africa, you then go, even if you go to South Africa alone, I don't think you're, you're if you marry a South African, I don't think you expect them to kneel down and wake you up. Yeah, so we must understand those all those, you know, diversities. all those, all those adversity. When yes. that, when we don't understand that diversity, there is the ground, that's the, we, are, we are planting, you know, that's a seed. <laughs> and the foundation the, the foundation will be shaky, shaky design, yeah. Foundation yes. will be wrong, and that's why we have to make sure that all those stages we go through it. Yes, and even yeah. in going through those uh, those stages, there's something that we have to do as individuals. Is that the sacrifices that we have to make. Good. I was going to ask what about sacrifices. The sacrifices that we have to make. Obviously, if that person is not coming from your, uh, you know, uh, from your ethnic background or from your, uh, you know, religious. from your generation, from a religious background, yes. you need to understand, and you need to respect that. Yes. And as much as you have decided to, you know, uh, be uh, be friends, engage, and get married, you love to, you know, um, respect. And I'm sure that you. But if you don't go through those five stages, there's no way that you will know. And then what you then know is that when you then get to the second stage, we're talking about, I said it was nine stages, we're yes. talking about five, well, that the is the pre five. and the, uh, the marriage. marriage. Now, when you then get married, you know, that's the, uh, the romance stage. Okay. You know, you've got honeymoon, everything is fine, you know, my darling, <laughs> my wife, every single uh, thing. Then after a while, reality checks in. Wow. That's number two. You don't understand that we're not just um, friends again, we're not just caught in the game, we're not just engaged again, we're not married. Yes. And that's something that you do, which are sacrifice that you do, you know, maybe uh, your husband that you're kind of used to going out with your friends and you eat out, you don't coming, you back, bother, late. coming back home, coming back late, you must understand that, hmm, I this thing now, I have a woman at home, yes. so I don't have to go uh, late. And even if your friends force you to eat, or maybe you have to go to um, uh, an employer's engagement that you know that you have to eat, is that how you have pre warned your, your partner, your wife, or, you know, in whatever style that you guys call uh, each other that listen i'm going on a work engagement i know yes. i probably when i come back i'm gonna be very late i'm not able so i don't want you to waste your time in the kitchen and all that yes. or if you haven't said that or if you're if you got married to someone that said whether you like it or not in this house <laughs> every night you must eat you must, eat. So you, must uh, you must have to leave a certain percentage you know in first time <laughs> where you want to eat about 10 rafts of food before you know you have to eat for <laughs> i know that when i get home madame's, my food. Man, madame's food is, is there so and, and you don't learn that if you jump from uh talking stage to marriage Marriage, that's true. So you know, that, that, that's uh, the, the, the the post marriage. I say you know, is the uh, you know uh, the um, the you know the romance stage. Romance. You know, everything is fine. Then you got reality checks. Reality checks. Now, okay. We're not in this uh, together. <laughs> together. When, when, you, when you come on before that, you leave your, you know, when you leave your uh, your shirt on the, uh, you know, on the sofa, on, on, the, on the sofa, or you throw, or you eat, uh, and you don't pick up the, you know, uh, or for some of us men that, you know, uh, I pray we change our hygiene that your your boxers have got skid marks in there all the, you know, all the time. You realize that someone have to put this in the washing machine and and that. Now that's the reality. Now if you don't deal with that reality that is certain in there, it now goes into the fourth, uh, the, the third one is resentment. You start to. Resent Resent each other, you know. You start to resent each other, and all this things start to be off. Have I not made a mistake? Yes. And then from resentment, it goes to the final stage, the manner which is rebellion. Wow. There's nothing that you say to that man that will listen. There's nothing that you say to that woman that will, that listen. will listen. And instantly, they whoa, 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 whoa. Like, wow. So you know that's why we. Want, but once we have gotten through those five stages at first, we understand what we have. Yes. And you know when in the in the in the, in the post uh, marriage, when we get to that reality uh, stage, and we understand, um, I think there's still some tweaking yes. that we need to do uh, in this. The moment to do that, you know, that tweaking, you know, the resentment will not set in. Yes. But when we sure. leave that tweaking undone, resentment set, you know, sent in. And when even when we get to resentment, and you know, we, we because we have started from the stage of you know um, uh, talking friendship, we understand the you know the the body language of our partner. That uh, I think 
Madame doesn't kind of like this thing. We can still change it. Uh, that. Yeah. But the moment that we don't do anything uh, with her, or maybe the wife is trying to kind of let the husband know that this is happening, this is happening, and it was he's not in, in, uh, in, uh, interested, or the husband is trying to wife, uh, understand that this is happening this is, and she's yeah. not in, interested, that's where rebellion is. And then the moment the rebellion sets in, that is that, the end of the game. The so, um, so we have some partners that just want to change. Yeah, okay, you know that your woman, maybe she sleeps about by 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Then because you get home you get home late, you get home around 10 o'clock, you expect your wife to still be awake by then, and you tell her that, no, you must not close your eyes. You must be awake till I get back. You see, uh, the, the marriage is a union. And there's no one that's forced into any union. Yeah. It's a union of two uh, people. And, it was, and, and, and that's what I'm saying, that, you know, when you, once you are married, you know, it, it, it's, some people get, you know, some people did those nine stages or so, those five stages, it takes them about a, a year. Some people, it works for them. But, you know, if you have been dealing with someone for about a year or two, I'm not talking about people that want to die in the talking stage. <laughs> you know, three years are still, we are still talking. Still observing. You know, we are still observing. And then, you know, uh, the friendship say we spent 10 years on um, on that one. And everybody around knows that, oh, mm -mm. you know, they're calling us uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. But, mm -hmm. no, it's just my friend. Uh, oh. But in that time, you will learn. Yes. that you know my partner or my friend sleeps at 9 p.m oh i'm someone that doesn't sleep at that time it is then that you guys have to then you know make the sacrifice and make it in the middle the moment that you know that you're committed to this that you, if you know that this thing is going to cause issue hmm. except if someone is going into that you know uh, uh that matrimony with the fact that well uh, so that uh my I mom does, yeah so that my mom just keep bothering me all the time let me just get married so but because you have not done um that that person you don't you didn't get to know them you didn't get to understand the yes. reason why they do that there are some people that it, it is it is not just them the moment it gets to eight o'clock and that's the shutdown it, yes it, it's shut down and then when we look at it sometimes as well for people that are uh, home makers, I won't call them uh, housewives, Housewife. you know, uh, home uh, makers. makers, they will have been at home from the morning, they probably okay. prepared your breakfast to go to work, they you know, uh, prepared food for the children, you know, where you don't have the luxury of having a driver to take them to school, it's you know, you will have to take them to school. To, uh, to school, you know, you have to get, when you get back uh, from school, you know, Junior, has, you know, uh, was sick yesterday, you know, threw up all the carpet, you wash, um, uh, you know, um, all that, you know, put their clothes in there, you, by the time you look at it, oh, it's 12 o'clock, let me get their um, lunch, lunch um, uh, ready. ready, by the time you look at it it's three o'clock or four o'clock let me go and pick them up uh, from you know uh, from uh, from school by the time you get there pick them from school get back home oh uh, my husband is coming I need to prepare food for him so by the time by the time the husband comes um, uh, back you are spending about 10 straight hours working and working and then there's no way that we you know we have we, have, we all have a set limit as some yes. people that they're only active about six hours the moment that they get to the seventh hours that is it and as some people you know i used to work um with someone in the uh, uk and he used to say at that time that if he doesn't get six hours sleep every day the mo next morning he behaved like a mental sleep. patient <laughs> Well, so of course you know if we have been you know for someone that uh, for the wife now because the wife has been with him for a long time so we have to know that let me just let this man go on yes, and, and sleep so yes. we it is sacrifice Yes. And we can we, we cannot do we cannot give that sacrifice if we don't know what that other person expects. So oh, that's I think sacrifice is like the key word because yeah. you you don't have to you have to like adjust your partner's yeah. way of life. You, Why are you adjusting? You are making that. Sacrifice. You are making that sacrifice, that sacrifice. For, that, you know, for that for that, uh, for that person. For that and, person. And, and you see, oh, still on that uh, and, uh, sacrifice, we must understand that in in life there is something that is inevitable. And that's change. Change, yes. Change is inevitable. It's only growth that's optional. <laughs> now, the wife that you got married, maybe by the time you get married to them, maybe, you know, maybe uh, they had a tattoo here that you kind of saw love so much. But you must understand that at that time, the, the time, you know, when that person starts to grow, the body will change. Yes. That you know, uh, the, all this one smooth skin will have about a billion wrinkles, lines and wrinkles yes. and everything. So the you know uh, the uh, the the tattoo that you had hair before will probably be running hair somewhere <laughs> because you know the the elasticity of the skin will yes. do what will change. And then maybe it's the, you know maybe apart from nowadays that we pump ourselves with uh, Botox or every single thing. If it's the face, if it's every single thing, there is no way change is inevitable. It will change. But you know, but the moment that we are together. You know, we're then growing together because they, because their body or their pattern is changing. But it's because you are growing uh, together, yeah. you will not you know feel that change. But if you are not growing together, you will that's feel that. You, and I think that's why change. they tell people not to marry for looks because fine <laughs> girl, 
good skin. Hey, there is <laughs> nothing. There is, you know, there is, and you know, may God bless her eternity. Celine Dion, by the time she was in her prime, when she was singing and all that, you can see her flawless yes. skin and everything. But by the time she got sick, no. when you look at her, you will not be able to recognize her. Yes. Yeah. And now true. imagine someone that married uh, the Celine Dion of the um, 80s, it and is. then look at her. I don't think this is the best. This is, I, what I what I ordered was yeah, what, what I got. got. <laughs> and then, but it is because you have not grown together. Yes. If you are growing together, you will notice that you know that change. If it's some, maybe you know, if it's something that you guys can do something about, maybe in the house you guys have excess machine or whatever, you know that okay, this and you are used to it. But the moment that you don't grow together, that is a problem. Thank you so much, sir.